I just remembered. Uh, hey, Cornelius, yeah. remember Lachlan from Mountain Culture Brewing Co? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he, um, yeah. he sent us some beers. Really? Gifted it to us out of his own pocket from his company he works for. Yeah, good bloke. He doesn't make them or own the company, but he sent them out at, uh, as a free gift for me to taste. Um, absolutely awesome. Is he really? Yeah. Uh, cool. He has his own YouTube channel, really good YouTube channel. Check it out. It's um, actually Mountain Culture Brewing Co's actual YouTube channel, so check them out below. Yeah, I'm in for that. And, uh, I'm going to try a beer. And I'll try the double red IPA today, and cool. you can try the next one. I can't remember what it's called, but my turn first, your turn next. How about that? Yeah, I'll do the next one. Cheers. Awesome. <laughs> Cheers. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Pierre and it's tasting time again. It's Wednesday, I'm doing this once a week. Uh, it's separate from my brewing videos and I hope you enjoy it. Today, I'm tasting a double red IPA sent to me by Lachlan from the Mountain Culture Beer Co. in New South Wales. They are uh, actually in the Blue Mountains. Keen to try this. He sent this to me a while back now and I kept it refrigerated and it was sent in a, like a cooled box of gel bags. I'll show you, I'll show you what I mean. These things, um, they're full of gel and you really cool them, you know, freeze them if you want to and it becomes like a fridge for a long period of time and it stays cold for a long period of time. I've kept these to reuse them so. They're gonna be awesome, things I can put in my esky. But today, I'm just trying this one. Now, he has sent me three beers, uh, but all of them are like status quo, which is one of the beers that he sent me. And as you can see in this picture, it looks very, very retro 70s styling. <laughs> very good looking can. Uh, it brings back a few memories on what I've um, had to drink on, well, when I was a kid anyway. I did grow up through the 70s and 80s, so. So, Lachlan explains this beer as being uh, one of their signature beers and extremely popular popular in their tap room. Um, this indulgent ale <laughs> is a well-rounded, you'd think it was drawn from a compass. Okay, that's, that's extremely round. That's really good wording, by the way. Uh, clean citrus tropical fruits dance around thick candied malts you could almost chew. Wow, what a, what a write up. That's um, absolutely awesome. I'm gonna use that, by the way. <laughs> um, it's 8% alcohol, so I have gotta be really careful with this one. Uh, this 355 ml can is about to be consumed by me. So we'll crack her open. And by the way, Lachlan was saying that um, he sent this to me at his own expense, which is just unbelievable. You know, he, he obviously loves working for the brewing company he works for and he is proud of their beers. So this is something I wanna try. I've got my nice clean glass, hopefully it's clean enough. Pour it, sorry guys, you can see that. Nice pour. I'll try and get a little bit of a head if I can. All right, that looks pretty good. Oi, 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 it's gonna go over. Is it gonna go over? No. So I'll give you a good look at it. Hopefully you can see the color it, that is double IPA, so that's um, a double red IPA. I'd say it's a dry hopped beer. I can smell the hops already. So this beer looks like, uh, and what I can smell, looks and smells like something I um, made myself once. Uh, Abernethy Brothers gave me a recipe for a Jurassic uh, Ale, I think it was, a Jurassic IPA, I'm not sure which one it was. Very uh, hoppy, dry hopped and quite tasty. Very uh, ca uh, caramelly. Uh, with a lot of uh, candy flavour or lolly flavour, which we say in Australia. Um, I'll give you a quick look at the camera over the top, see what you think. Nice looking beer. So yeah, so it, um, I'm about to taste it. I can smell the hops in it. Sorry, I can't tell you what hops is in it. Lachlan gave me a, a link to their YouTube channel. So check out the YouTube videos these guys have made. Uh, Lachlan makes them all. Uh, they are so much fun to watch. Uh, we'll learn a lot from the editing and the, the fun of it all. Um, 
and musically talented to some of those guys too. Check them out. Anyway, let's taste this. Oh, that's gorgeous. <laughs> Sorry. That is a beautiful beer. Very nice. Oh, this is this is the kind of beer I like. Um, it's a double red IPA by Mountain Culture Beer. Co. Oh, Mountain Bot Cult. Oh, what was that? There's an um, aftertaste that comes through. Now can taste. Well, it can taste the caramel and the lolly flavour. It's almost. Um, it's just really nice. This one I can deal with. I'm really scared to drink it too quick because it's 8%. But you can't taste the 8%. Uh, the hops, I don't know what the hops are. I really can't tell you. It's definitely sweet. Uh, it's got a lot of sweetness to it. Uh, for, a, for a high alcohol beer, it is quite sweet, but very, very, very tasty. After taste, um, I had a quick uh, punch of apple, not much. Uh, a little bit more of um, even pear. We've got a little bit of pear out of that. Uh, oh, what's that flavour? I do this all the time, don't I? That is a flavour I have had before. Mango. Again, mango. Bit of mango. Bit of, uh, a bit of mango. Mostly citrus, though. Uh, uh, talking about you know tropical fruit flavours, which is definitely in it. Um, it's definitely not a session beer. It's a beer you would want to sit down, maybe have two during dinner, and don't indulge in anymore. It's very rich. When they're talking about the candy flavour and the, um, it's, it's kind of chewable. <laughs> I, I get that. I understand. I know what that means. That's a very nice beer. It's a very nice beer and it's come through beautifully. Uh, it must have kept cool. It, it, when he sent it, he did say keep it refrigerated. So as soon as it came to my uh, mailing address, uh, it went straight into the fridge. Uh, these little gel packs work really well. They work wonders. And apparently this is their signature beer. This is their main one that everybody seems to like. Now I understand why. If you guys have seen these guys before, let me know. Um, I've never heard of them. And it's only because of Lachlan that I found out who they are. And I will be paying these guys a visit as soon as we get out of lockdown. I have friends that live near, in Sydney, basically. I have friends that live in Sydney. And next time I visit, I am going to come and visit these guys and check their brewery out. This is awesome. Yep, I can enjoy that. That is great. Now, I have two more videos coming up that you will see me do and I'll explain more what's going on with them. I don't know if Lachlan will let me feature some of his videos in my videos, uh, but I will email him and tell him how much I like the beer and uh, definitely, hopefully, show you some of their videos and give you a link to their uh, YouTube account. It's just great. So thanks guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to my channel. We will be back very soon with a tasting and I do have some beers coming that I'm making. I'm making a stout, which is almost done. It's still aging a little bit, still got another week or so or two weeks before I'm going to do a, a, a first taste. Uh, and a wine tasting as well, which is coming up. I have a grain to glass video coming up. I also have a tasting on the all grain clone of a VB that I've done. Now, just so you know, um, spoiler alert, basically, uh, it doesn't taste like it at all. <laughs> it's actually completely different. Doesn't matter, it is still a nice beer and I'll give you some reviews on that one as well. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.